Hello and welcome to Basic Electronics, episode 16. We've got a really cool project for you that's been quite a while, that I've been building for quite a while and recently finished. It's a synthesizer using two 556 five, timers or four 555 five, five timers, depending on how you look at it, because it's a 556 five, is a dual 555 five, five timer, as you probably knew. So let me explain what it does. So, this half over here is just a standard Atari Punk console using uh, just a stock circuit from Force Mims book, 555 timer circuits, op amp and opti electronic circuits and projects. From that book you can get it at Radio Shack or Amazon. Then over here is an LFO and some other knobs. They're just A stable 555 circuits. And I found this hack online on uh I'll have a link to it down below, but you can switch between, let's see, right now it's off, and that would be square, and then off, triangle. So it's a three position switch. Same over here. This one controls this oscillator, this one controls this oscillator. This is a general power switch for the LFO section. Power LEDs for each LFO, and uh, this was going to be a gate switch to cut out the audio and he pressed it in. But when I got the switch and tried to put it in the hole, I used the wrong size bit and ended up breaking the switch. So this would normally be a normally closed switch, but it broke. So I had to detach that. Then I've got power switch, big power switch, and just a normal power LED. On the back side, you can see this is for the power jack. You put the... that's where the... DC in goes, it takes down to about 5 volts up to I'd say 15. And then this is the quarter inch out. So it's pretty solid. It took a long time to make because I started building it and then my Radio Shack iron died. I got my Hako and finished it within like 20 minutes of getting it. So it took ended up taking like two weeks. Because my crap solder iron broke. So now I'm going to open it up and show you inside. So I took the back cover plate off of the project box that I got at GameCo. And here's what's inside. It's going to be... Oh, you can see it pretty well. It's a huge rat's nest of wiring, as you can see. I got a new spool of twisted wire. Best stuff ever. If you order this, you will be glad you did because it's just so useful if you're like wiring up potentiometers there are two wires that you need just use a twisted wire and that's it's like one wire because it's just twisted together and even though it looks like a huge mess it's not as bad as it would be without the twisted wire so use twisted wire it's easy to make your own twisted wire if you have a cordless drill or just a regular drill I guess you just put two strands in, twist them together. So I started off building it on one board. And that led to problems, so I ended up breaking it into two boards, even though that probably sounds more complicated. Uh, this board is the Atari Punk console board, and this is the LFO board. So the LFO modulates the Atari Punk console. I'll explain that better in a minute. But as you can see, I put a thousand microfarad... Oh, let's see where it is. There you go. You can't really read it, but it's a thousand microfarad uh, filtering cap on the DC in, so that if you're using like a wall adapter, wall wart, whatever you call them, they uh, helps filter it, clean it up a little bit. The DC jack or the uh, sorry quarter inch audio jack that I got didn't come with a bolt or a nut for mounting it, so I hot glued that in. Everything else is bolted. The LEDs uh, fit perfectly. Let's see where is where are they? I'm having issues today. There's the LEDs. They're over there. Can't really see them that well, but no hot glue really. I only used hot glue to hold the DC jack in and the quarter inch jack. Everything else is bolted. Put knobs on the potentiometers. Just standard pointers. Um, yeah, that's about it. Pretty simple. The circuit itself uses the uh, the LFO modulates the CV pins, and I'll go into that more in, right now. And 
And here's how it works. So the, there's the LFO, and what that does is there's two low-frequency oscillators, and uh, one per part of the 556 on the APC. So basically, one LFO goes into the CV pin 3 on the Atari Punk console, and then the other LFO goes into CV pin 11, and I'll draw this all up, kind of, but basically, I found, oh, oh, I also found this mod on the internet, again, I'll have a link down below, but using a, a capacitor and a resistor, you can have a triangle wave output for the LFO. So that's what I did to make it a little bit more versatile. I'm glad I did that. It really opens up some more opportunities for for uh, sounds that you can create with this. And, um, yeah, other than that, it's pretty simple. The LFO uses 10K resistors, 100K pots, and uh, I use different capacitors to change it up a little bit. And uh, I think I have a 1 microfarad and a 4.7 microfarad. Um, yeah, so these toggle switches switch between the uh, just normal capacitor out from the LFO. They switch between that and the resistor capacitor triangle wave combination. And the same for both of them. It's, re it's really kind of confusing, and um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to explain it. That's basically it, though. It's just two-way stable oscillators and the stepped tone generator. And it caused a lot of frustration trying to build this thing. The APC wasn't working. The LFO worked fine right off the bat. I don't know. Just issues. And putting in the case was actually the easiest part, believe it or not. That was really simple and straightforward. Other than this mishap. This but... You probably want to hear this thing play, so I'll put this whole thing back together and uh, plug it into an amp. Okay, I have now moved down to my floor because I couldn't find the correct adapter for the stereo amp thing that I'll show you in the future that I have set up at my lab, so I have to move over to my guitar amp. So, I'll show it to you now. I have... I already have a power adapter plugged in. I have it plugged into my amp and make sure it's in frame. There we go. Okay, right now it's just the Atari Punk console and then I'll kick in the LFO.